to the Citrus County Chronicle. We're sitting down with uh, candidates that you're going to see on the November ballot. And today I have with me Congressman Gus Bilirakis. Welcome, Congressman. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah. it very much. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so Congressman Bill Arrakis, just to remind everybody, we, uh, through apportionment and through redistricting, you are the incumbent that's uh, representing Citrus County as part of District 12. And so we wanted to spend just a moment kind of hearing a little bit about you and then ask some questions that uh, we think are relevant to Citrus County. So Gus, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I grew up in uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida, born in Gainesville, Florida. So I'm a lifelong Floridian. I practiced law in Pasco County for many years and also was in the state legislature for eight years. And then turned out and ran for Congress. And I've been in Congress since, uh, t well, 2007, January 2007, I was sworn in. And uh, veterans have always been my top priority in Congress. And we've gotten a lot of things good for our veterans, but we have to do more. Uh, and, uh, and then also I'm on, sitting uh, on the Energy and Commerce Committee, which is a very powerful committee in Congress. About 60% of the legislation uh, that is passed goes through Energy and Commerce. So uh, if my party and if I get elected, God willing, then I will chair one of the subcommittees on Energy and Commerce. I'm married to my wife, Eva, and we have four sons and uh, they live in the area as well. Outstanding, outstanding. Yeah. So let's get a couple questions. I mean, okay. so, so, you know, you sit at the federal level and, and, and the, the decisions you guys make have this national implication, yeah. right? Yeah. But if we can a little bit kind of hone it down to District 12, to Citrus County, you know, what are those two or three things that you see are really critical issues to, to this part of Florida, to Citrus County, that, think, that you think you might be able to have a handle on? Well, internet connectivity. I think that's very, very important. Uh, when I talk to the constituents, and we've been going around meeting with people one-on-one, -on -one, uh, constituents, so citizens, but also elected officials, they talk about the Wi-Fi issue, uh, and that sh should be fixed, and it takes leadership. Uh, another issue that we hear about is in conversion, conversion from septic tank to sewage. Uh, and we want to uh, you know, preserve the pristine rivers in the area. Uh, so uh, obviously inflation is, is very important it's affecting people, particularly our seniors who are uh, on limited incomes. Sure. So uh, the national debt, we've got to address that as well because we don't need our children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren to be paying for, for the uh, deficit spending. So, as you, so if you are so fortunate to get reelected, what do you see as that biggest challenge for Congress kind of moving into this they next They need session? to work together okay. to get things done. Uh, it takes leadership on both sides to get things done. Again, uh, inflation is a big issue. Domestic production is so very important. Uh, we cannot be depending on these, these countries, uh, that, uh, these adversaries, really, uh, for, for oil. And uh, we need to, you know, the, the, the supply chain issue. People are waiting for months uh, for, for supplies. Mm -hmm. So we can't be depending on countries like China. We should be manufacturing here at home. So those are the big issues. Very good. You mentioned uh, kind of that reaching across the aisle. Talk a little bit about your, uh, your leadership and your style and how you uh, engage with those and other well, parties. Well, I'm a conservative Republican. Mm -hmm. However, there are issues that are nonpartisan. Uh, such as health care issues. Uh, we work on, uh, with Democrats on, on rare diseases, finding cures and treatments for rare diseases, particularly for our children. Uh, veterans issues. We're working on a veterans bill right now, the Richard Starr Act that I actually sponsored uh, to help our medically retired uh, veterans and uh, to, to bring fairness where they can get their entire uh, disability and their entire pension, which they've earned. So those are the kind of issues we can work on. Uh, you know, the social media is out of control. These platforms need to be held accountable. And, uh, and we agree on, on much of those issues. And uh, it benefits our constituents and America as a whole. For sure. Well, thank you so much for My your time pleasure. today. We appreciate it. So today was uh, Congressman Bill Arrakis was with us. And again, continue to log on to chronicleonline.com to see more of these videos and get a little insight as to those folks that you're going to see on the November ballot.